every day the c r t dumps over ninety million liters of untreated municipal waste water into the junction of harrow and want to feed the streets during the ebb phase of the tide the chemical and microbe laden discharges are carried southwest by the currents towards albert head william head and race rocks during the flood phase of the tide the currents carry the discharges northeast through the Oak Bay Islands into Lower Arrow Strait. This is a minor glimpse of the degrading effects of this practice on the local marine environment. It's what you can't see from above. Even minor changes in ocean chemistry can lead to degradation and a decline in biodiversity. I find it sadly ironic that Trial Island is supposed to be an ecological reserve and a rockfish conservation area. Directly exposed to the discharges on the flood tide, it is a highly degraded marine environment. Like Trial Island, the Chain Islands Ecological Reserve in Oak Bay is also exposed during the flood tide and is highly degraded. The long-lived giant barnacles are dying. Sacks Point and Esquimalt, like the rest of the Esquimalt waterfront, is a shadow of its former self. Moving toward the southwest, Albert Head is heavily exposed to the outfall discharges on the ebb tide. Areas in the Pacific Northwest with rocky substrates and strong tidal currents, particularly headlands, typically host a huge diversity of marine life. Instead, we have more degraded kelp, a huge decline in diversity, and contaminated swimming scallops. Nearly 30 years ago, a shellfish harvesting ban was imposed in the Victoria Bight, in part because the local swimming scallops were discovered to be contaminated with fecal coliforms beyond the public health standard. Not only are the scallops contaminated, but in some places, the scallop beds are disappearing. Scallop samples collected from Bentic Island near Race Rocks to 10 Mile Point in Harrow Strait tested positive for fecal coliforms. See the attached link for a summary of those findings. Moving to Beecher Bay, slightly west of Race Rocks and over 30 kilometers away from the CRD sewage outfalls, the marine environment looks more like it should. Here, the kelp is healthy and clean and provides shelter for juvenile fish. In 1994, former Premier Mike Harcourt could have implemented sewage treatment for $400 million. It would have been paid for by now, and the local marine environment would have been two decades into recovery. Instead, we have the ever-increasing social, economic, and environmental costs. Sewage treatment is long overdue. The time is now.